Today we're going to show you how to get your video conference participants up and running quickly. If you haven't already installed the ViewRoom application, go to www.viewroom.net and get connected so you can start video conferencing today. Also, now's the time to make sure all your video conference participants have Skype accounts and are in your Skype contacts list. Step 1. Use Skype to validate system setup. The quickest way to check a contact's readiness to participate in a view room video conference is to use Skype's built-in one-on-one -on -one video chat feature to validate the status of a participant's audio and video setup. If you can see and hear your contact on a one-on-one -on -one Skype video chat, your contact's computer is properly set up for a view room video conference. Hi, John. I want to just check our video. There's mine. And there's yours. OK. Step 2. Encourage your meeting attendees to download the free ViewRoom plugin for Skype prior to the meeting. ViewRoom supports meetings using the installable ViewRoom plugin for Skype or a Java applet that loads when participants click the hyperlink that appears in their Skype chat windows when you invite them to a View Room video conference. Installing the free View Room plugin provides the best support for high definition video and makes it quicker and easier for participants to join your View Room meetings. Step 3. Practice using View Room with two or three friends before your big event. Starting an instant view room multi-party video conference is easy. From your Skype contacts list, select up to seven people you want to video conference with, choose start the conference, and click yes on the view room prompt. Hi guys, good to see everyone. Where's everybody dialing in from today? This is Frank from Raleigh. This is Doug from New York City. This is Prashant from Tadu. Bharti from Bangalore. Check out other titles in our Desktop Video Conferencing Fundamentals series from ViewRoom. We release new videos about every two weeks through the VView blog. Follow the blog link at the top of the ViewRoom.net homepage.